Well, if you made it to Ithaca today, it was a good day. Cornell was the site of NFL Pro Day, and for two players chasing their dreams, it was a smash hit. Offensive lineman J.C. Treader and wide receiver Luke Tasker, the son of Buffalo Bills great Steve Tasker, held it down for the Big Red. Now, scouts from over 15 NFL teams were on hand to check out the prospects, do some lifts, perform drills, and much, much more. Overall, it was a special day for Cornell. You know, they obviously the scouts wanted to see some different things out of you. They wanted me to play a lot of center today. Um, you know, I played left tackle in college, so I'm learning center. And I think that went really well. Um, you know, just showing what athleticism you have. Our strength coach, Tom Halley, does a great job preparing our guys for this day. And Rhett Taconi, our director of football operations, does a great job as a liaison for him. So it's just awesome. This pro day, like today, is a day where these scouts know who he is. I mean, they've watched him on film, and they have an idea of what he's going to, what they expect. This is just a confirmation of it. Hey, first round of the America East Women's Tournament. Hey, there's the cat. Binghamton versus Hartford. First half, Steph Jensen using the glass. Nice right there. That's a three ball. 7-5 Bearcats. That's a good ball movement here. Leads to Morgan Murphy's jumper, and it is good. Binghamton down by four now. But Hartford, they would run. Amber Bebko with a little three-co right between the eyes. They led by 10 at the half. Hartford, though, they win 68-53. Athens State of Taylor Clark played six minutes of the contest for Hartford. The Ithaca College women are in the D3 Sweet 16 tonight versus Williams College in their second trip ever to this round. The winner advances to the Elite Eight and will play the winner of Whitman and Emory in Williamstown, Mass. And Ithaca's men's team, they're not done either. They're in the second round and will play at Rochester tomorrow night. Well, only eight teams make the NCAA D3 Women's Hockey Tournament. One of those? Yeah, Elmira College. EC will play Bowdoin College Saturday in the first round for a chance at the Big Frozen Four. But looking back on this season, each has their own moment that defined this team. We did so well against Norwich. I mean, we tied them, but we were pretty much dominating the whole game. And, you know, new systems, new everything was new to us. And it was just after the game, I was like, this is going to be a great year. Before we even stepped foot on, on, uh, on the ice for a game, uh, we had our first initial meeting when the team was uh, selected. Everything that we said in that meeting, um, everyone has, has bought into right from day one and, uh, and continues to do so.